So we've just arrived at the Maria del Mayo Cromleg, or what some would see as a stone circle. It's uh, just west of Evora, and it's got some incredibly beautiful megaliths. They seem to be shaped, almost egg-shaped, sort of curved edges. And uh, it's quite an impressive sight. I'm, uh, there's not too many stones left here. Originally, there was there was nothing here, it was just there were, all the stones were knocked over, some of them were buried and you couldn't come and visit the site just like 15 years ago but now it's all fully opened again so I'm delighted to be here. So the megaliths in this cromlech, they're all curved, they kind of have, I've just been looking at them, they're all kind of shaped, it's almost like they've been hammered away, almost it looks like they were kind of molded in some way. Um, but it's very crystalline rock, you can see very crystalline streaks going through the rock. It's kind of an oval shape, um, which does suggest it may have some astronomical significance. You can see the horizons all around here, so it could have been used for that purpose. Further north, there's another stone, which is almost like a Manitou stone, similar to the ones you get up in New England, in North America. Um, and about last decade, when all the stones were recumbent, because this was a disused site, no one was coming here, it was just old farmland. A hundred students from Lisbon University made it up here and actually lifted a couple of the stones, partly to kind of get the site back how it should be, but also to have an experiment to see how they may have done it in ancient times. So I'm not sure which ones they lifted back up, but there's quite a few stones left, not as many as there was. I'm sure some of them are still buried. And as I drove here, I noticed on the sides of the road up in up on the in the fields that the farmers use that they'd obviously sort of destroyed megalithic sites and just left piles of rock there. So, um, so yeah, so you know, it's, it's good that this site is now back on the map. It's being rediscovered, and uh, let's take a closer look. So you can just see the egg-shaped nature of these stones. It looks like black or, or grey granite here. You can just see the way they curve over all the way around. Some of these have carvings on, which I can't really see very well in this light. I'm not sure which ones. But again, this one's sort of strangely shaped. And like the insides of them seem to be almost flattened, as you can see here. A bit like you get a Stonehenge. It's just a smaller one around the edge. And there's this one again. It looks like very tough black granite. Some smaller remnants down there. And you can just see a few over in the distance. As we sort of look south, going in this direction, this is where the larger stones are at the top of the landscape there, the top of the hillock that we're on. It's quite a beautiful site, very impressed with this. This is the first site I've seen in this area. Accidentally stumbled across it, I was looking for this, I went the wrong way. The sat nav stopped working, followed my instincts, saw a couple of signs, and hey ho, here we are. This is that incredible streak of crystal 
that's going through this block of granite here. You can just see it down the center of the stone there, going all the way up, all the way over. You can even see it carrying on down to the bottom there. Yeah.